Find the nth term of the sequence 1, 3, 6, 10, 15 and 21. If you've seen this sequence a number before, you might have seen it like this. 1, 3, 6, 10 and 15. This is the set of numbers which is called the um, triangle, triangular numbers. Okay, so we put the numbers into a table. So this is a term number. Number one is number one. Term number three is six. And work out the differences. From one to three, you add two. From three to six, you add three. From six to ten, you add four. From ten to fifteen, you add five. And from fifteen to twenty-one, you add six. This doesn't really help us. But if we look at the differences of differences, we can see that they're adding one each time. So what you need to do, this is a quadratic sequence, so you what you need to do is take half of one, which is half, and look at a half n squared. So when n is one, it's going to be one squared, which is one times a half, which is a half, two squared, which is four divided by two, which is two, three squared is nine, nine divided by two is four point five. 4 squared is 16, 16 divided by 2 is 8, 5 squared is 25, 25 divided by 2 is 12.5, 6 squared is 36 divided by 2 is 18. Now how do I get, look how I, what, I, what the residue is if I take 1 from half from 1 and 2 from 3 and 8 from 4.5. I get plus a half, plus 1 plus 1.5, 2, 2.5, and 3. This is called the residue. And then how do I get from a half to 1? Sorry, sorry, and the half, 1, 1 1.5, 2, 2 2.5, and 3, it's also a sequence. It's a linear sequence. All it is is just a half of n. So what we do, when we've got this, we've got a new sequence, and it is a linear sequence. It's just a half n. So the nth term is going to be a half n squared, this, plus a half n. Now, this can be written many different ways. n squared plus n over 2 or a half n brackets n plus 1. You should try when n is 6 do we get 21.